I think it's October, but I can't be sure. I haven't kept a calendar for years. Each day is more gray than the one before. It is cold and growing colder as the world slowly dies. No animals have survived and all the crops are long gone. Soon all the trees in the world will fall. This is John Connor. If you're listening to this, you are the resistance. Listen carefully. If we attack tonight, our humanity is lost. I once knew a woman who told people to fear the future, that the end was coming, that all would be lost. Nobody wanted to hear her truths. Society locked her away. That woman was Sarah Connor, my mother. Now we know that what she predicted has all come to pass. Command wants us to fight like machines. They want us to make cold, calculated decisions. But we are not machines. And if we behave like them, then what is the point in winning? Command is going to ask you to attack Skynet. I am asking you not to. If even one bomb drops on Skynet before sunrise, our future will be lost. So please, stand down. Give me the time to protect our future that all of us are fighting for. This is John Connor. I've kept this for years. Because someday it'll be up to you. I don't want you to be afraid. I want you to understand. Knowledge is the only weapon we've got left. In the beginning, it was ignorance that destroyed us. I saw the first. But soon the world saw millions. No one knew how they spawned so fast. They swarmed like locusts, burning everything in their path, driven by one purpose, to feed. Even then, we couldn't believe they were real. Ancient man had made them into myths. But nature had made something far more terrible. Too late, our scientists discovered their true identity. A species which had burned the dinosaurs to dust. Whose ash had brought on ice ages. Who in eons past had scorched the world clean of life. Then starved, then slept. Waiting for the earth to replenish itself. Waiting to start their cycle anew. Our weapons shot fire back at them. Yet for every one of them killed, a hundred took his place. They seemed invulnerable. We could only look on as our leaders used their greatest arsenal to destroy them. But in the end, we only helped them. So the world burned. And the few of us that were left fled the cities, found shelter where we could. You have to understand our past, because you will decide our future. They're starving now, and they're more dangerous than ever. But we have to go on. We have to outlast them. Only one species is getting out of this alive. I'd like to share a revelation that I've had during my time here. It came to me when I tried to classify your species. I realized that you're not actually mammals. Every mammal on this planet instinctively develops a natural equilibrium with the surrounding environment, but you humans do not. You move to an area and you multiply and multiply until every natural resource is consumed. The only way you can survive is to spread to another area. There is another organism on this planet that follows the same pattern. Do you know what it is? 
a virus. The human beings are a disease, a cancer of this planet. You are a plague, and we are the cure. out there I can provide food I can provide shelter I can provide security if there's anybody out there anybody please you are not alone My life fades, the vision dims, all that remains are memories. I remember a time of chaos, ruined dreams, this wasted land. But most of all, I remember the road warrior, the man we called Max. To understand who he was, you have to go back to another time, when the world was powered by the black fuel, and the desert sprouted great cities of pipe and steel. Gone now, swept away. For reasons long forgotten, two mighty warrior tribes went to war, and touched off a blaze which engulfed them all. Without fuel, they were nothing. They'd built a house of straw. The thundering machine sputtered and stopped. Their leaders talked and talked and talked. But nothing could stem the avalanche. Their world crumbled. The cities exploded. A whirlwind of looting. A firestorm of fear. Men began to feed on men. On the roads, it was a white line nightmare. Only those mobile enough to scavenge, brutal enough to pillage, would survive. The gangs took over the highways, ready to wage war for a tank of juice. And in this maelstrom of decay, Ordinary men were battered and smashed. Men like Max. The warrior Max. In the roar of an engine, he lost everything. And became a shell of a man. A burnt-out, desolate man. A man haunted by the demons of his past. A man who wandered out into the wasteland. And it was here, in this blighted place, that he learned to live again.